Hey y'all, Gregor here with a brand new video doing something new. I am back from SnapCon. I had a wonderful time. It was very nice meeting all of the Power On people and all of the Snap community. I decided I wanted to try something new. And this is a question that I get asked a ton. Why can't I hit infinite? What's stopping me from hitting infinite? Is it my deck? What am I doing wrong? So I decided to make this video. These are the top five mistakes I see players making preventing them from getting infinite. Let's get into it. If you enjoy the video, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all the things we are pushing for YouTube partner. We just got to get our hours up. We're going to get there. So if you are able to watch till the end, it's super appreciated. And if you're able to do the other things to boost the algorithm, it's appreciated as well. Thank you all. Hope you have a nice week. Coming in at number five is playing after tilt. So if you play after losing an eight cuber or multiple eight cubers, you will start to tilt. You will start making misplays and it will affect your play in the future. You'll probably go on a losing streak and you'll continue to lose. My recommendation when you have a bad matchup or you just get really frustrated by the game, take a break, step away, take a walk, take a breath, grab some food, do whatever you need to get your head back into the right place. Come back maybe 15, 30 minutes later and get those cubes back. You will do so much better if you just take a breath and realize when you're tilting. Realize when you're starting to feel salty, come back, win better harder and keep going with your climb at number four not recognizing bots or farming bots there are a lot of bots on ladder all the way up until infinite a lot of people are like no they're not i don't play up against bots yes you do there are indicators that a player is a bot and i will go through those with you number one being if you see this card right here i have never seen a player legitimately play warpath i only see bots play it so if you see somebody is playing warpath they're probably a bot also you can tell by their profile picture most of the time bots will use a generic profile pick one of the ones that you get in the very beginning of the game so they will use any of these guys down here more of these ones like captain america ironheart colossus ant-man just very base ones blue marvel they're always the base variant scarlet witch any of those mojo collector that should be a sign in your head that hey Maybe this is a bot that I'm playing against. Also, they will just have like a generic name or a weird name that doesn't make much much sense. They will also be playing cards and locations that don't necessarily make sense. Like if you see somebody like a death lock their own lane and there's no advantage to it, that's probably a bot. Bots can't be in alliances and bots will always snap if they are winning two or more lanes. They will also make very quick plays. The best way to really farm bots is to play a deck that has a really big turnaround like turn five turn six let them get ahead on turn one two and three so they snap on you you snap back on them and then flip it on them turn four five and six a good deck that does this is a negative list so that's the one that i'm using as an example for in this video but you could do it with like hella hella is another good one that a lot of people use early on to hit infinite because she hides behind something and then it's a big flip you discard all your cards and they all come back so any kind of decks that are like that where you end up getting behind and then on turn five turn six you bring it all back bots will snap on you because they think they're winning and then you just end up getting the eight cubes and that's a really good way to really skyrocket your rank and climb ladder quickly so you do get them all the way up until all the way up until galactic until you hit infinite so you'll get them all the way through every one of these yep so farm bots number three is not understanding your matchups or win conditions identify what your opponent is playing and based on the locations, determine whether you are at an advantage or disadvantage. An example of this being destroy. If there are any locations for destroy that either multiply your cards or that destroy cards, you are already at an advantage. Mark that in the back of your head. Hey, I'm at an advantage right now. I should probably snap because I have that advantage and my opponent is at a disadvantage. Ask yourself. What card could take away my win? Am I comfortably confident I have the win if unsure retreat, especially if the opponent is raising the stakes by snapping? It's not worth staying, especially as you get closer to infinite. Also, like if you have a bunch of 10 cost cards in one lane and you have no way to protect them, you don't have Cosmo out, you don't have armor out, I would assume, hey, my opponent may play Shang-Chi. Keep that in the back of the mind. Would that make me lose the game there? Am I comfortably confident that I could win these other two lanes? Those should be all factors in the back of your head when snapping, retreating, or staying, and especially so if your opponent is upping the ante by snapping on you. Ask yourself, is it worth it? Can I afford to lose these cubes? Number two, switching decks too often. So I only really recommend players switch decks. Maybe you stick to one or two decks while climbing that you can switch to, 
But if you're trying a completely new deck, I recommend switching when you hit a milestone. When I say a milestone, let's say you're going from, you know, Asian to iron or bronze or silver, any of these 40, if you get to gold, platinum, diamond, vibranium, omega, galactic, any of those is a good time to switch because you can start to switch and play, try a new deck. But ultimately, you should stick to decks that you are comfortable with. And if you're switching to something just because it seems like a good deck, probably not a good idea. You probably don't understand how to play that deck. You're going to have trouble. It takes time to learn a deck and the play lines efficiently. I recommend learning how to play a deck within Conquest, but really playing decks on a ladder that you are comfortable with. And finally, at number one, not retreating and bad snaps. That is the number one thing that I see players do that keeps them from getting infinite. So you should always try to minimize cube loss and maximize cube gain. A retreat is not a loss. You are minimizing your cube loss. Cube rate in a deck is more important than win rate. So for example, negative has a very high cube rate, but a very low win rate. That's because it has very, very specific win conditions. And when you hit those win conditions, you win big. But there are a lot of times you're going to end up retreating. You should be snapping when you have your win conditions in hand. Example, let's take a look at this negative list. So this is a negative deck. This is my personal favorite negative deck. So let's say I play Ravona Renslayer on two. I play negative on turn three, and I have Jane Foster Thor in my hand after negative ink. That right there is my win condition because Jane Foster ensures that I pull all of the cards that I flipped. So all of these cards, a 0-3 Mystique, a 0-3 Stage, a 0-5 Iron Man, a 0-6 Zola, and a 0-6 Null directly into my hand on turn five. Really the only thing that would make me lose would be a Sandman. Sandman could stop my play because I could only play one card and that would be, I would lose there. But if that messes up my play, I just retreat. You can re retreat, minimize the loss, and when you win, you're going to win big. So make sure you know your win conditions for your deck. Make sp smart snaps, smart retreats. The biggest thing I see most players doing is they're not retreating. You need to retreat. Retreat is not a loss. Get that out of your head. Retreat is minimizing your cube loss. I hope this helps you in your climb to infinite. Good luck. I would love for you to hit infinite for the first time, or maybe if not this season, next season. You got this. Take these tips that I've given you and do better this, this time. Every time, try to improve, do a little bit better. You got this. I will have another video maybe sometime this week. I don't know. I'm still recovering from SnapCon, but I am trying to put out all the content I can. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you for your support. Remember to eat food, drink water, take your meds, get enough sleep, and remember the world is better with you in it. Until I see you next time, I will be live on Thursday. Hope to see you there. But if not, take care of yourselves, friends.